Hi guys. Okay, first of all, I'm so sorry that it's been a second since I've posted. I have been a little distracted. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know that I am a new mother and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I had been looking for a kitten for like several months. I actually wanted two kittens. I was hoping to find a bonded pair and I just had no luck or I would find two kittens that I really loved and then somebody else would get them and I was getting really discouraged. But I was looking on Pet Finder one day and I saw, first of all, the most beautiful kitten I've ever seen. And then I clicked on her and her description said that she was the sweetest, most cuddly and like best kitten ever basically her description literally said that if she could be compared to any celebrity she would be dolly parton and i don't know if you guys can see there is literally a dolly parton album cover on my wall so i was like she's supposed to be mine so i applied for her but then i like went so above and beyond and emailed the people like 17 times like explaining exactly why she had to be my cat and they could not approve her for anybody else and i got her this is her. She's so beautiful and she has a perfect heart for her nose. And you guys, she's the best cat I could have possibly imagined. Like, I don't know how I got so lucky. First of all, she doesn't shed. Second of all, she has never gone potty outside of her litter box. And she's so cuddly and quiet and she's perfect. Anyway, this video. This video is an updated everyday makeup routine. I don't know how much of it is different from my last makeup routine. I think I did it probably like six months ago, but I am in a new apartment now and I feel like I used some different products, so it was time to do it again. I also did my hair and yeah, here it is. Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've used this for probably like two years. My skin is so red, I don't know why. I use a lot of this. You probably don't have to, but using primer makes me feel like actual makeup never touches my face and it makes me feel like my skin's gonna be better. If I'm not gonna do like anything crazy on my eyes, I'll just do my foundation first. But today I'm gonna use like a little bit more eyeshadow, so I'm gonna do my eyes first. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on my eyelids and I'm using the same crusty dusty brush I've used for like five years. And I use my beauty blender to just like do this. And then I'll set it just like a little with, okay, wait, no, that's a lot. Laura Mercier setting powder. Oh, look, look. She always wants to be, ooh, wait. Hey, hi, Murph. Oh, okay. You guys know I am not the best at my eyebrows, okay? I've never had good eyebrows and I still don't really have like a routine to it. But right now my little routine is just to put like a little brown eyeshadow in my bald spots because I have bald spots. And then I leave them alone for now. I'm gonna use brow gel later, but after I've already done my foundation. This is my favorite little palette right now. It's from Dior. It's called New Dress. So dirty, but this is what the colors look like. And I use this like dark color, just like really close to my eyelid. Trust the process, please. This looks scary. I'm just taking a bronzer and I'm gonna like blend it in a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because again, I'm gonna put a shiny eyeshadow over it later anyway. I use a setting spray and I spray it on the back of my hand and I wet my little brush. Ew. Um, and then with my wet brush, I go in with this little like shiny color and lay it on top. I might look crazy right now, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. For foundation, this is my number one asked question. Everyone always wants to know what foundation I'm wearing. And I swear by this foundation. It's the Tarte Face Tape. It's like the foundation version of the Shape Tape. Sometimes if I'm like, if I want it to be a little bit runnier, cause it is a really thick foundation, I'll use just like a runnier foundation. It's like this Estee Lauder one um, to mix with it. I think today it should be fine with just this. And I mix two colors because I don't have the right color for my skin right now. Please don't comment about my foundation match because it's just like not so something I'm ever gonna be good at. I'm gonna try like one and a half pumps of the light one, maybe like two pumps of the dark one. Mix them together. Okay, it's looking a little tan. What do you think? Mm, Brooke, that's not gonna work. Maybe we'll put a little bit more of the light one. I do use self tanner and I tan my body quite often. Okay, just trust me because my body's really tan right now. It's gonna seem like a lot of foundation, but then when you go back in with the beauty blender, it kind of like absorbs a lot of it. I 
I don't know if you guys can see how nice the foundation is, but I don't know. I just haven't found anything else that I really like. Also, a little confused why Tarte didn't invite me to Dubai because I have been talking about Tarte for years. I actually genuinely do use so many Tarte products. I'm like, <laughs> please choose me. On that note, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Wait, I think I took it too far. I don't know why I do it on my chin. I like, like to look like a little crimson chin situation. My biggest pet peeve is getting makeup all over my lips when I do it. <laughs> I don't think I was using this yet when I did my last everyday makeup routine, but I'm not kidding you guys. This is my favorite product I think I've probably ever tried. It's the Item Beauty Cream Blush in the shade It's Verified. And actually maybe I was using it in my last one. I don't know, but I will never ever stray. I literally do this with like the butt of my beauty blender and put it on. You can kind of tell I have like naturally like a pink tone to my skin and my foundation super yellow. So I feel like this is how I like bring it back home. I wish you guys could see Murphy right now. She's sleeping so cute. I'm not kidding you guys. Like everyone says getting an animal will cure your depression but i swear to god i can no longer imagine my life without her like I, I genuinely cannot believe i lived without having her i feel like the luckiest little mom in the world laura mercier setting powder with one of these little triangles i get from amazon it's been six months and i'm still probably using the one that i used last time you saw me so i should probably order a couple more i just set my whole face honestly i use so much <laughs> Ugh, I need to get this towel off of my head. Okay, I haven't been contouring my face or like using a ton of bronzer just because I have cheek filler and I don't know, sometimes I see videos of myself back and I'm like, girl, I kind of feel like that's the whole point of cheek filler is to make it so you have that like shadow there. But I will go in and add like a little bit. I'm using the um, Dior, Dior Forever Natural Bronze in the color 5, Warm Bronze. I do my nose. I've been trying not to do this so much because, you know, people told me I was doing a little much with the whole like little brown nose situation and I was like, I love it. Um, we can all agree that I should not have been doing that. Okay, you guys already know this is the most important thing in the world to me, the Morphe setting spray. It's like a mist. And I just, oh, this one's almost gone. I don't know if you guys can see how much I use, but I completely, completely drench my face in that so that when it dries, it all settles into one layer and doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of foundation and powder, which I am. Okay. My face is almost dry, so I'm gonna use this like shiny blush. It's the shade Sweets For My Sweet from MAC. I feel like it just makes my skin look like skin. I don't believe in overusing blush. I literally don't think it's possible. So go crazy with it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so pretty. Okay, 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I just brush my brows like up and over. I would do anything to just like take someone's eyebrows off their face and put them on mine. Okay, normally this is where I would do eyeliner and a lot of you guys ask me which eyeliner I use. I use the pot eyeliner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just use it with like a liner brush and it's changed the game for me, but I don't think I want to wear eyeliner today. I right know I curl my lashes. This eyelash curler, I used to have an eyelash curler that was like kind of wimp. Like it was like, a little loose and it just didn't do the trick quite right um but this one eats and i do the full like alex earl like extreme curl this is my favorite mascara ever it's telescopic from l'oreal it's literally like ten dollars it's amazing my stuff do you guys hear that listen that's my stomach i'm scared Okay, we're almost done, almost done. Tana and I always talk about the lip liner that she and I like fight over. Um, 
it's our favorite color ever and it's the shade makeup talk by morphe so if you guys were curious it's like usually my daily like go-to lip liner but today i'm going to use the anastasia beverly hills lip liner in the color mocha is this my other new favorite because this one's just like a little more similar to my lip color and then i'm going to use a little bit of this lip gloss it's the fenty beauty cream lip gloss in fenty glow i did not mean to buy this i meant to buy like the traditional fenty glow which i like a lot more but just a little bit because it's really pink cute i was trying to decide if i wanted to do bottom mascara which i think i do so i'm gonna do a little bit of a white liner because i will live and die for alex earl bottom mascara Okay, this is the finished makeup. It's cute and it's easy and I feel like it's not so extreme that I look like crazy. Honestly, I think for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do my hair too, just so I don't have to make a separate video. Come along. I have been testing out like not using any product on my hair just because I wanted to see like if it made a difference. Obviously, I would advise you to use like a heat protectant if you use heat on your hair a lot or like a leave-in if your hair is really dry, but I just found that every product that I was using was like weighing my hair down. And I obviously like don't want my hair to be heavy. So as of right now, I'm not using any product on my hair. This is the blow dryer I'm using. It was like, I think $30 on Amazon and I love it. Look how cute it is. I'll put it in my Amazon storefront. <laughs> Also, really quick, this is my belief. I don't have scientific evidence to support this statement, but I believe that if you use a round brush or one of those round brush blow dryers to blow dry your hair, it breaks and falls off. That's just what I think. So when I blow dry my hair, ever since I was younger, I've only used like a blow dryer and like maybe a brush here and there, but not a round brush and I'm never like tugging on my hair. That's just what I think. My hair's dry. Ignore my accidental bangs. I, you guys saw a couple videos ago, I got bangs, but like when I got them, oh, where? she, I like showed her a couple photos, both of which were bangs that she cut herself. Like one of them was Madison Beer and like another was my friend Sarah. I showed her the two photos and she was like, those are two completely different bangs. I'm like, okay, um, well, I can't see like the difference between the two, so like, can you like give me an idea of like what you think I should do? She goes, choose one. I was like, okay. And then I accidentally chose the longer ones. And now I like can't even make bangs out. Like they're not really bangs. I feel like I'm in the sixth grade and I want to do like that. So now I just style them as if they're not bangs. This is a curling iron I use. I think it's one and one quarter inches. Sometimes I use the clamp, but today I'm going to use it as a wand. Usually I don't like to curl my hair on the very first day that I wash it because it's so clean that it almost like doesn't curl right. But I want to show you guys how I do it. Try not to kick myself. I try to like hold it in place while it cools down so that it doesn't like fall out. What I've been doing a lot is like curling all the pieces in the front away from my face but then like alternating in the back but today i'm just going to curl it all the same direction because i want to be able to brush it out you guys get the point i'm going to do the other side really quick and then come back now this is what it looks like after which is obviously really extreme but i just use any texturizing spray spray it all in there and then I'll brush it out and then it looks like that. Sometimes I'll put hairspray a little bit to like make it a little bit more like messy. But that's kind of like what I want it to look like. Obviously it'll fall a little bit as the day goes on. This is the finished look. I might have to tame my hair down a bit but I feel like it turned out cute. Anyway, I love you guys so much. And I promise for real this time that I'm going to be a little bit more consistent. Also, keep your eyes peeled for the two podcasts because I'm so excited that they're coming back. See you later.